witch, the evil that lies within. For down in the fiery depths of the earth where nightmares <laughs> begin. Inhumanoids, inhumanoids, the evil that lies within. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Hector Ramirez, and this is 20 Questions, the news magazine that's not afraid to ask the important questions, such as, who were the Inhumanoids really? And what did they want? The Inhumanoids are gone. Yes, the monsters who first struck in San Francisco, then again at a power plant in Southern California, and later at such diverse targets as the Gettysburg Battlefield and the Soviet arsenal in Kamchatka. In fact, I believe, yes, we are going to switch you now to Soviet television for a first-hand report. Last month, Red Army forces led by Comrade Anatoly Kiev gloriously defeated several monsters. Are we on? Oh, uh, there you have it, live from the Soviet Union. I am now standing in front of the Earth Corps headquarters where the brave team of scientists who defeated the Inhumanoids prepared to hold a press conference. Uh, gentlemen and ladies of the press, uh, may I have your attention, please? As most of you know, I'm Herc Armstrong, and to my right is Sandra Shore, representing Shore Industries and the Shore Foundation. And next to her is Derek Bright and Mr. Jonathan Slattery, better known as Liquidator and Auger. I hate reporters. Together, we form the team known as the Earth Corps. Can you tell us exactly what happened to the Inhumanoids, Mr. Armstrong? Metlar, the leader of the Inhumanoids, was trapped by the powerful magnetic fields of a mutor ally known as MagnaCore. Decompose was tricked into an amber vat by Earth Corps with the help of the red... Don't tell them about the trees! Uh, certain surface creatures of an undetermined nature. Would you care to describe these creatures? What are you trying to hide? It's apparent to this reporter that the story of the Inhumanoids is far from over. But this much is known. The tendril creature, which was originally released by Sandra Shore's evil brother, Blackthorn, is at the moment safely imprisoned beneath the Earth. Meanwhile, Blackthorn Shore himself currently serves a five-year sentence in the Glades, a maximum security prison. It is interesting to note that Blackthorn shares his cell with the infamous Dr. Herman Mangler, the geneticist who was convicted of manufacturing nightmare creatures in his private lab. Yes, the Inhumanoids are gone, but a small piece of the tendril monster removed during the Earth Corps' first encounter with the Inhumanoids is missing. Is it important? Who knows? We leave that for history to decide. This is Hector Ramirez, signing off. Hector, aren't you ever gonna grow up? That's the third television this year. Yeah, and if I see Hector Ramirez again, it won't be the last. I wonder. Wonder what? Is it possible that the tentacle still lives? in a few minutes. Hey, I'm out of here. Police, you better get down to the dump. The tendril monster is back. Dispatch all cars to the city dump. Emergency. Monster is back. One out of eleven report to dump. They'll be eaten alive. We can't let them tackle that thing alone. This glue might stick him for a while. Did you say might? Let's go.
Those are just making him matter. You're gonna buy his vote? As chairman of the Wildlife Committee, I intend to put him in the zoo. The zoo? Do you have any idea what that thing could do to a zoo? Cypher is the most advanced language computer ever created. How come it can't communicate with the monster? It's the creature that can't communicate. I know for a fact that creature can't communicate. <laughs> Awaken. The human is sleeping. When we escape. As soon as I interface with the zoo security computer. Never mind. Just wait and remember our deal. I give you your freedom and you do exactly as I tell you. That does it. I'm free. I'm free. Careful. Remember, I am fragile. And now the news. This just in. The tendril monster has escaped. For an eyewitness report, we go to our man on the scene. Well, Dick, police officials are stymied. As best we can ascertain the f- Great, just great! Tendril could have gone anywhere. My feeling is he headed where he'll feel safe, right back down into the Earth. One thing disturbs me. Why did Tendril take Cypher along? Who cares? Let's get down there and defoliate the- No! Going down there without preparation would be suicide. We need information. Right's right. We don't dare fight Tendril on his own terms. Hey, does anyone smell... Smoke! Look out! was dangerous when I took it, but this is a bit much. Don't know my headache much oh, good either. Helps to clear your sinuses, though. Derek, you all right? I can't get a pulse. Darn it, got one. I'll take him to the hospital, and the rest of us will head into the ground to find Tendra. Come on! My sensors detect only two night watchmen, and they are asleep. You must hurry, Tendro. Earthcore will soon be hunting us, and I intend to be prepared. I will need many things. The microwave transmitting kit, the ultra-charged battery pack, the atmospheric detection probe. You have done well, Tendro. We now have all the components I need except one. And if my calculations are right, which they always are, the final component should be on its way down to us just about now. Tendro, sorry. Why me? I'm getting to think we may never find him. Probably find us. Hey! Look out! Don't squeeze! You overgrown rhubarb! <laughs> Surely 
the implications of our situation are not lost on you. It's clear that Tendril has forged a dangerous alliance with the Cypher. The most primitive and humanoid. In league with the most advanced human technology. Yeah, but now for the good news. This thing is tuned to a homing signal on the Terra Scout. Then let's follow it. I am complete. You are brilliant, Tendril. I will give you an important task while I am gone. You see this box? It is very powerful because Earth Core will follow it wherever it leads. Now, here's what I want you to do. with stupid formalities. Open the gate. Hostile alien at our gate. I grow weary of this. the others think, but I'm persuaded. I am happy to see that reason has prevailed. Order Pyre and Crygen to release Metlar into the computer's custody, now! <sighs> I am glad to see you are as intelligent as I was led to believe. I wouldn't release him if every surface creature on Earth were! Your sentiment is appreciated, Pyre, but your mode of expression unlikely to persuade. It was my desire not to use violence, but... My bonds are broken! I expect you to live up to the agreement we forged. To whom do I owe my freedom? I have bought your freedom on the condition that you will not Damage the Granite City. I suggest that we not hesitate in our leave taking. Tempers grow mean. Hey, I got an idea. Let's tell Bright we found a hole in gold, but since he wasn't here, <laughs> tough luck. Eh, yeah, you're all hard, aren't you, Ogre? The signal is exceptionally strong. If there's gunplay, don't hit the top of the cavern. There's a lake above us. We're very near. It's up there! And drown, foolish slugs! Swim for it! Earth, these suits don't float! about it. These suits aren't gonna make it in Malibu next year. 
<laughs> Sandra, you didn't get seasick, did you? Don't ask. <laughs> we ought to do this more often! In ancient Asia, there was a god who could turn men into snakes. Perhaps he knew something of your dark science. Yes, perhaps he did. Sure. Your lawyer's on the phone. You call yourself a lawyer? This is not your lawyer. I am a friend who wants to break you out of there in exchange for your help. I've spotted the trapper. It's resting on a narrow ledge. Let's pull it out. Tendril, Tendril, I will need your help. Now, Tendril, now! Come on, let's dump this stuff. The vapors are killing me. Why don't they just pour it down the sink? It's toxic waste, dummy. If anyone just touched it, they'd start looking like something out of a horror film. Oh, that's real nice stuff. Reminds me of your sister's spaghetti sauce. This arrangement seems suspiciously easy. You haven't seen the monster I have to snag in exchange for...
win or lose? The Cypheroid has been destroyed. But Metlar, Blackthorn, and Tendril were released. Sounds like a net loss to me. Wait a second. We didn't release the monsters. We won. Masterson and the others lost. No matter how you add it up, the best we did was break even. <laughs> Can have target practice now!